Just a couple of days after it closed, a gas station across from Lambeau Field is already coming down. Tonight, what we've learned about the Packers' interest in that property and others in the immediate area. Fox 11 investigates, taking a closer look at the area just west of Lambeau Field. Now, nothing official yet from the Packers on the demolition that is already underway. Or on the gas station that is right next door. That station is also closed and is also being sold. But today, Fox 11 learned that the Packers are interested in two remaining properties in that same vicinity. Fox 11's Robert Hornacek has the latest. Just days after closing its doors on short notice, crews began tearing down the old mobile station near Lambeau Field. Next door, another longtime business has also closed its doors. This used to be a farm back when we were kids, and now it's changing again, you know, so nothing stays the same. Chuck Watoon's family has owned the Sitco gas station since 1971. I'm sad. He would not say who is buying the gas station. He simply says it was the right time to sell. You see the obvious changes around here. I just felt it was a good time and the opportunity was there and you only get that chance once in a lifetime. So it was time. The Packers have not commented on the gas station properties, but the team is very active in real estate in that area. Land records show the Packers already own 19 properties west of Lambeau Field, valued at more than $25 million. Most of those properties are between the stadium and Marley Lane. Fox 11 investigates uncovered that in the last six months, the Packers have expanded their holdings in the area. The team spent $1.1 million to buy three properties, including the strip mall next to the Sitco station. There are two other properties in that area the Packers do not own. The Blind Ref Restaurant and the Road Star Inn are still owned by other parties. The manager of the Road Star Inn tells Fox 11 Investigates the Packers have expressed interest in purchasing the property, but at this point, he says nothing has been signed. The owner of the property where the Blind Ref is located says the Packers have also shown interest in his property. He says he's met a couple times with the Packers, but nothing has been signed. As for the gas stations, Watoon says he has no idea what is planned. I haven't a clue. All we have to do is look down by the highway and see how it's developed down there. I'm sure it'll be just coming back this way. Watoon says he has to be out of the building by September 30th, and he expects the new owners to get to work right away so those gas tanks can be removed before winter. At Lambeau Field, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. The owner of the mobile station has not yet returned our calls for comment.